Welcome to BrainLoads 105, Information Density, featuring the inventor, Dr. Carl Hillier. One of the basic setups is to have the numbers on the bottom, the colored blocks on the bottom with the numbers facing up. And we'll simply put the white blocks on top in random order, not necessarily associated with the numbers underneath, but just putting them wherever we want to. This is the typical standard setup. The way that I want to work with this matrix now is to work with information density so that we can deal with a lots of information uh, and still be poised enough to analyze what sequential processing needs to be done. Now what I'm going to do is start slow with an individual and then move, escalate it to more information density. And part of information density has to do with working memory. So working memory is crucial when it comes to information density. So here we go. I'm lifting up the number one block with my right hand and I'm going to say yellow, blue, green, yellow. Looking for the three now, I'm going to pick up blue to green and then Where's my number four? Green to blue. Very basic, just adding a little bit of working memory challenge and a little bit of information density. Then next, what I can do is begin calling out the number from which I lift it from. So 22, 3, 4, 22, blank, 4, 2, blank, Five two, seventeen five, eighteen seventeen. Okay, so that adds another little bit of a load, a little bit more information that I have to contend with, and it's expanding my working memory. Well, what we're doing here is we're adding a little mathematical fluency to the activity so that we can gain automaticity with being able to negotiate uh, number sequences and by adding. So here, simply saying 25, I'm simply adding these two. But I'm also working on expanding the uh, amount of available working memory I have to use when I'm thinking in mathematical terms. But I'm also following a sequence. So I'm, I have to respect the sequence of the white blocks, 7, 8 to 9. But also, in the background, I'm processing another mathematical concept, such as addition. So here, it's going to be 22. But I remember that my next number is 10. So I'm having to sustain and maintain respect for that sequence. But at the same time, I'm processing, in a working memory modality, something else. So 30, like that. 